Got a package today from Hong Kong. Let's see what's inside. It's film. <laughs> Pretty beat up packaging. My Heart 35mm color print film. ISO 200, 27 exposures. Ooh. I just got this off eBay for four rolls of this film. It was about $15, including shipping and handling. Uh, I don't know what that comes out to. You can do the math. But I'm going to shoot some of this. I think I'm going to use the Canon Rebel 2000, at least for one or two rolls. Uh, and I'm going to put the 50mm 1.8 lens on that because that combination is pretty, I'm going to say, neutral. Nothing unexpected should happen with that, so we'll get the full effect of the film. <laughs> I'm working on the first roll of the My Love film, the weird Chinese film, and I think I'm going to do the whole roll in just natural window light situations against a yellow paper background, um, because it's something different than walking around on the street and shooting whatever I find. Um, I don't know if you'd call it product shots or just whatever, but... That's what I think the first roll is going to be. I know that if the packaging had been right, I only would have gotten three more shots out of this film, but since it was only 24 shots on the roll, not 27, I'm already halfway done with this roll and it's only been like 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to look at some photos of this My Heart film. I shot two rolls. The first roll was at box speed 200 ISO, and the second one I set the camera to shoot it at uh, as if it was ISO 100. Um, so let's go through. This is in the first roll. Some of these I cleaned up a bit. Others I didn't. Um, who really cares? Um, so the color is, it's pretty nice. At box speed, it does look, to me at least, like it's underexposed. Um, so I peeled the label off one of the canisters and there was some German on it and it turned out that it was a drugstore brand of film. And I was hoping that it was uh, Agfa Vista 200. I don't think it was. To me, uh, this does not look as good as the Agfa. Uh, it does have, in the underexposed or the box speed photos here, a nice kind of um, 
moody quality, I think, muted colors and whatnot, which I do like sometimes, but it's certainly not as, uh, as rich and deep. Um, looking at the film itself, looking at the negatives, it almost kind of looks like Fujifilm, um, which I'm not really a fan of Fujifilm, so there's that. Um, but it, you can see here it does have a, a pretty good dynamic range. Um, it's a little, you know, blown out in the super highlights, like uh, the flowers in the back there. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty crisp. Um, like any cheap or, you know, expired film, um, I think this film does need a lot of light. It wants a lot of light to look good. Um, but say, but that being said, I do like I do like some of how these uh, softer photos came out, real ethereal, if you will. Um, the color is pretty true to the situations. Um, outside on a rainy day, it does. There was some nice uh, something nice about how the film looked kind of a cinematic quality to some of it. Uh, let's try to get to some of the um, overexposed. So this is overexposed one stop. You see the colors pop a lot more. It's a lot more uh, pleasant to look at. Um, it's fairly, fairly detailed, not too much grain, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it looks pretty good. Um, I love how this one came out. This one almost kind of looks like it could be a portrait or something. But this is overexposed on a sunny day. Um, which overexposed on a sunny day, just about any film is going to look pretty good uh, from what I found. Um, it really does, in my opinion, love that kind of yellow-green spectrum of, uh, of the color. Um, so if you were going to use this film, I would say to gear yourself towards that range of tonality. Um, again, underexposed or uh, less light, it just gets kind of washy, grainy. <laughs> um, this is another one of my favorites here. Um, really needs that light and it brings the uh, brings the blue green kind of colors out pretty well so uh, this is my this is my favorite of the bunch this is one of the ones um, at box speed but it gets uh, in my opinion a really nice impressionistic quality just very soft um, so I think this would be a good film to experiment with if you were into the Lomography type stuff um, if you want more predictable, you know, good photos, you might want to go with a different film. But I, I love the, the aesthetic of the box. <laughs> this, the silly pink hearts and whatever. And it's cheap. So, um, I'd say it's worth trying. Why not? Just go shoot. <laughs>